isn't this amazing guys let me tell you i get to experience a lot of latest technology i have used the flip smartphones i have used the foldable smartphones and yet all i have been doing in the last 24 hours is basically this this is how cool and exciting this smartphone is. This is Oppo X2021 rollable smartphone. And in this video, I'm going to take you through all of its features. And I'm going to also tell you how Oppo made this magic happen. You're watching India Radio Tech. I am Manas Tiwari. Now, before you get too excited, let me tell you that this is just a concept smartphone from Oppo, which means that it may never actually go on sale. <laughs> and talking about that, what's actually going on sale is the Mi 11 Ultra and that's the news we broke for you guys this week. So if you like that update, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also tap on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any updates from our side. Now, Let's get started with the Oppo X 2021. See, there is no doubt that smartphones are getting boring and we need a design change. And that's how the foldable and even the flip phones came into existence. But they had a lot of flaws. This one though feels like a more complete product. The time that I spent with the Oppo X 2021 makes me believe that the rollable phones may have more potential than the other two form factors. In its normal state, the Oppo X2021 is just like your usual smartphone with a 6.7 inch tall display, but it can be converted into a larger 7.4 inch squarish form factor. Now, unlike the foldable smartphones, Oppo Find X uses a sliding mechanism, which to be honest is very seamless. You just need to swipe up and down the power button to expand or retract the smartphone. You can also do the same by pressing the power button twice. And the power button is definitely more responsive than the swipe gestures. The expansion and retraction process are very gentle and smooth. The UI, apps and everything else on the screen also automatically adjusts itself to the transformed form factor. Yes, the motor used by Oppo on this phone makes a loud noise when the phone scrolls. Now the question is, how did Oppo make this magic happen? Well, what it has done is, it has used a slightly different and unique variable OLED display which can actually expand and retract. The display was positioned unstretched on a roll motor powertrain which has drive motors to generate force to expand and retract the display. Oppo has also used a two-in-one plate-like structure to support the screen and ensure that it does not collapse. The rear panel is also like your usual smartphone with an angular line in between which reveals the inner plate when the smartphone is expanded. Now you get a 48 megapixel triple rear camera setup at the back and also the Oppo branding. Now the Oppo X2021 is probably one of the most exciting smartphones I have used in a very long time. It's in fact mobile engineering at its finest but there are few things that you need to know. Also. Can you actually get over this? No, you can't. The first thing is that this is only a concept smartphone, which means that it is far from a finished product and that's clearly visible. The phone is big, thick and bulky. There is no 3.5 mm headphone jack on the Oppo X2021. It does not even feature the front camera or the volume buttons, uh, which are surprisingly missing. Yes, you can still control the volume from the settings menu. Lastly, when the phone expands, it leaves some space between the plates at the back. Now, if any dust particle or any other small item gets stuck there while the phone is retracting, it can potentially damage the device. Now, this does not take away the fact that Oppo has come up with one of the most promising solutions to the otherwise boring smartphones form factors. And if it can address some of these issues, then definitely the smartphone future is going to be rollable and flexible. Now, one fear that I always had while using the foldable and even the flip smartphones was that they were just too delicate. Every time you unfolded them, you felt like broken the device. But that isn't the case with Oppo X2021. This one definitely feels a lot more solid 
and durable. Oppo has also used best of the specs. You get a QHD plus display with 120Hz refresh rate. The screen is crisp. Switching between the apps is fun and UI is also very well optimized for the unique form factor. The icons on the home screen, apps and UI transition very seamlessly while the smartphone is expanding or retracting. In fact, you can also switch between the two screens while playing videos and games. Now, in case of video playback, the phone uses a cross dissolve effect to hide the minor jerk that comes with the changing form factor. You can see that the jerk is more visible while running games and in case of Asphalt 9, the game was also paused for half a second every time I switch the screens. But still, the transition is uh, quite seamless given this new form factor. Now, there is also a crease on the left side of the display uh, which is visible in the expanded form factor but not as much as it was in case of the Samsung Galaxy Fold 2 or any other foldable smartphone. Uh, let me be very honest with you, the larger display is a treat for playing games, watching videos and even for using the camera app. Now, Oppo definitely needs to make this panel brighter because indoors it is fine, but if you go outdoor, especially under the direct sunlight, the screen is almost invisible. You cannot see the text or the apps. Basically, you cannot use the phone under direct sunlight. Now, even before I got this phone, I had just one apprehension or concern and that was around the battery. Rather, how much of it is actually consumed by this phone while expanding and retracting. Oppo has used a 4000 mAh battery pack on this phone and let me tell you, it can drain really, really fast. I charged the smartphone to 100%, used it for about 45 minutes for video playback, gaming, and just browsing through, through the apps. And the battery was already down to 53%. Now, Oppo has also sent me three chargers with this smartphone, a 125 watt SuperWook charger, which can juice up the phone from zero to 100% in just five minutes. A really impressive and tiny 50 watt mini charger, and also a 65 watt wireless airwook charger the 125 watt superwook charger stands out with its insane charging speeds now since this is a concept smartphone we only know of a few specifications some of which i have already mentioned apart from that what you get is qualcomm snapdragon 865 processor there's a triple rear camera module but we only know that the main camera is of 48 megapixel the battery of course is of 4000 mAh. You don't get a selfie shooter of the front camera on this phone. Also, the volume rockers are missing, but you still get very loud speakers and there's also a Type-C USB port at the bottom. See, this is a concept smartphone and Oppo has hit the ball out of the park with the idea. In fact, I just joked about this that they could have actually called this phone magic because it really makes magic happen. <laughs> Uh, this is a concept phone, but it looks better than the actual foldable smartphones we got to use in the last few years. Uh, yes, there are issues, there are concerns around the longevity of this. Oppo says that uh, the phone is capable of expanding or retracting about 1 lakh times, uh, which will give you 2 to 3 years of usage. But I'm sure that number will come down when it comes to real life usage. So if Oppo can find a way to, you know, expand that, reduce the thickness of this phone, uh, find a way to fix, uh, fit a better battery and ensure that battery is better optimized for a mechanism like this, then I think definitely uh, rollable smartphones have a future. In fact, they have a better future than your foldable smartphones. For now, what I can say is that technology will keep surprising us in the years to come and rollable smartphones will definitely play an important role in it. Now, if you like this video, you know what to do. You have to subscribe to Internet Radio Tech YouTube channel. Also, tap on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any updates from our side. Also, let me know. Now, this, these were my thoughts about this phone, but let me know what you think about the Oppo X 2021 and if you think that rollable smartphones actually have a future or not. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.